All right, so if I draw a circle and I look now at my left hand, um, I have the ability to reset my view. So if, I, if I've zoomed around and you know, pushed this way over here and I, I got lost, now I don't know where I am, I can hit this button uh, and that will reset me back to my starting position. These I'll get into a, a little bit later, but they basically are, am I moving around my whole scene? Am I moving around just what's on my layer or just on a specific frame when I use these, these side grip buttons? Uh, here I can see the number of frames, this spinner, that's right here. Um, so if I want a new frame, I'm on frame one, I can click the trigger with my left hand. And what you can see happened, I'll undo that. Click it again, and I have another drawing. So I can see I've got a two. If I move my joystick to the left, I go back to frame one. If I move my joystick to the right, I go to frame two. Um, you can see that on frame one, this is black. If I go to frame two, it's red, and what that is is that's the onion skinning. It's, it's showing us what the previous drawing on, on frame one looked like. So now if I squash this circle, undo that, uh, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, now I can go between one and two, one and two, and I've got this squash, all right? So I can squash, I can click that front trigger again, and then draw it again, and then click the trigger again, and I'm gonna draw another one, another one, Another one, and you can basically start drawing. I'm drawing a bouncing ball. There we go. So that was just click the trigger on the left hand, draw with the right hand, and then repeat. So now if I want to play back my animation, to do that, it's the play button, which is this button uh, right here. 